While all the buzz these days is around foldable smartphones, LG is casting its bets on the dual screen form factor. Today, they just announced their newest flagship, their third to come with its own dual screen case. And if you ask me, it's definitely more than just a novelty, but on its own, is it enough to capture the attention of users in this highly competitive and highly saturated smartphone market? Well, you've got to stick to the end of this video to find out. I'm Michael Josh, you're watching Gadget Match, this is our LG V60 ThinQ, hands-on. At first glance, the LG V60 looks very much like its predecessor, the V50, except that it's larger. LG says it's their largest smartphone display yet. While big screen phones are definitely not new, in LG's case, I think it makes more sense. You basically get more screen real estate for uh, this dual screen form factor. And speaking of, LG deserves credit for pushing this particular kind of smartphone Forward. And with Microsoft set to launch its own dual screen Android phone later this year, I wouldn't be surprised to see more phones like this in the market soon. I'm particularly a fan of this form factor. Two displays connected by a hinge instead of one display that folds into two. Where multitasking on mobile is concerned, it makes perfect sense. This form factor is great for mobile games or being able to do things like online shop using two browser windows. You have one screen for your search results and another for digging down into individual product pages. To make sure your phone has enough juice to power that second display, the V60 comes with a 5000 mAh battery. And to ensure you get quick top-ups, it has Quick Charge 4.0. LG is promising 18 hours of use from a 30-minute charge. For as long as I can remember, LG has cared as much about audio as it does camera performance. Top of mind are things like the introduction of Hi-Fi audio and built-in DAC. Remember that DAC clip-on that worked with the modular G5? Or boombox speakers on the G7? This year, LG is adding even more audio features, but before we dive in, perhaps more important is what it hasn't taken away. In 2020, LG is keeping the headphone jack alive for yet another year. But there's more to it than that. The phone has four microphones. That's twice as many as on the V50. This allows the phone to do things like use AI to separate voices of a subject from its background, a feature they're calling voice bokeh. And a new 3D sound engine, improving the quality of voice calls, music, or sound effects. This year marks the second time that LG is launching its top-of-the-line V-series at the beginning of the year instead of in the second half. This means it gets to launch with the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon processor while it's fresh and new and not right before a new one is announced. Which is more appropriate for a phone that prides itself in offering the best that LG has up its sleeves. On paper, the phone has an impressive resume, promising lots of power and performance. Snapdragon 865 means it's got more than enough power to carry out any task you might need it for, and support for 5G networks. It will come with 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, plus room for more with a micro SD card. On the back of the V60, you'll notice the cameras are no longer flushed against the back of the phone. Instead, there's a bevel that frames the centered cameras. While I did like that flush design, this at least helps protect the camera lenses from getting scratched. Now, speaking of cameras, this year, LG is taking a different direction from both the global trend and what it's done in the past. Last year's V50 had five cameras, three on its back, two up front. On the V60, there are only three cameras, two of which are on its back. The main camera has a 64 megapixel sensor that shoots 16 megapixel images, and there's an ultra wide angle camera. The phone still shoots telephoto images from 2x up to 10x, but doesn't have a dedicated zoom lens, so it uses the 64 megapixel sensor and crops in. Here are some sample shots. If you want to see more, we'll post them on GadgetMatch.com and I'll be posting some on my Instagram account, so make sure you follow me there. Video recording gets a lot of upgrades and new features. Time-lapse mode is now quickly accessible via the camera app. 
video stabilization has been improved, and HDR Plus support has been added. And now you can shoot up to 8K video content at 24 frames per second. Up front, the phone has only one selfie camera instead of two last year, and it's worth pointing out that the 72.5 degree lens is not as wide as both the 80 and 90 degree lenses on the V50. LG is sticking to the teardrop notch design instead of the punch hole on Samsung phones. The LG V60 ThinQ comes in two distinct colors, classic blue and classic white, with gold or silver accents on its frame and around its camera. At the time of our briefing, pricing wasn't disclosed, but as soon as we get them, we'll post them in the description box below. But we're told the phone will be cheaper than the cheapest Galaxy S20, which starts at $999. So is the LG V60 ThinQ 5G your gadget match? From a marketing perspective, the phone looking too similar to last year's model may hurt LG a little bit. Although I do like these new dual tone color options better. While the updates too seem more incremental than anything, you can't go wrong with a bigger battery and an improved camera. Although I'm curious if the reduction in cameras will fly well with customers now acquainted to more. What the phone has going for it though, is its price tag. LG is strategically trying to undercut Samsung, pricing the V60 lower than the cheapest Galaxy S20. So for those who are less brand conscious and more price sensitive, this is one to consider. And finally, that double screen. Depending on where you live, it's either bundled or sold as a separate accessory. I think we're barely scratching the surface in terms of what's possible where multitasking on a smartphone is concerned. And in that line of thinking, this is a step in the right direction, and it does give the LG V60 a reason for being. And that was our LG V60 ThinQ hands on. For more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post a new video. Follow us on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.